Hello and what is up guys, right here and welcome back to some more automation in BMG Drive. Today we are making the greatest rally car of all time. Of course, we're making a Group B rally race car. Uh, what is a Group B rally race car, you might be asking yourself? Well, that's a very good question, okay? So Group B was this awesome race series in the 1980s, started from the year 1980, I think up until 1986. Uh, it had basically the craziest race cars of all time, or rally race cars of all time. Uh, uppers of 600 horsepower in cars that weighed usually in and around 2,000 pounds, usually less than 2,000 pounds. Uh, these cars had like, you know, two liter engines that were turbocharged and had made tons of power. And they were just all out crazy in general. There's like, I don't think there's any speed limits on the track. There was no barriers for the, uh, for the, for the audience to watch even. It was just wicked. It was wild. So today we are making our own a 1980s Group B rally car. I've already chosen the body. It is going to be a little, uh, what was it going to be, a hatchback or a wagon? Yeah, it's going to be a little wagon. It's a little bit of a wagon, a little weird. Of course, we're trying to make a, you know, a turbocharged, basically a race car. Full aluminum body, fiberglass, a little bit out there, I think. Monocoque, seal, we don't really need either of these. Uh, it's going to be a front transverse engine. So we're going to do a all-wheel drive platform setup. Double wishbone and double wishbone into the engine here. So it's going to be, I think someone requested this a while back, a inline five rally car, all over of course, dual of red cam, four valve. Now, looking at the Group B rules, if the car is gonna be turbocharged, which of course it's gonna be turbocharged, uh, it can be basically either 2.85 liters or 2.14 liters, or smaller if I want, I guess, but you know, it, there's certain categories it can fall into. So we're actually going to be going for the bigger engine size. So 2.85 liters in size. We're going to make this thing a bit of a high river. I don't want to make it too high river now. 2.85 liters. All forged internals, of course. That later. And a full race turbocharger. Multi-point race. Premium is all we got. That's fine. And then uh, no exhaust because this is, this is a race car. And we're going to open this up here. So 250 horse. That's not a lot of horsepower, obviously. We're going to bump up that and pay our ratio. And then higher revs. 1,000 and up. So we're shooting for around 500 horsepower. The car has to be under 2,000 pounds. Or just, just over 2,000 pounds. I think it was 2,000 pounds. So we're making a 2.8 liter. It's got to be 1,100 kilograms. So 2,400 pounds. So it's going to be under 2,400 pounds for sure. Increase, and I can take that note almost all the way. 450 horse and 300 torque. That's pretty good. We're getting there. I want it 500 though. A bit and plus, probably. And increase or lower down the ignition timing just a bit. But the Conrads, Conrads, the Conrads can't take it anymore. It's the engine is obviously going to be a very expensive piece in this car. Those cars looking. Um, so we can that just a bit. Five, you know, that's probably good. 555 horsepower, 390. So not much torque, obviously. With this thing, you know, you're not keeping it under uh, 4,000 RPM, probably. So what we're gonna do? Let's listen to the engine while we have a lot a bit more room to go with the exhaust. That's fine. 555 horse is more than enough for any car. Uh, let's listen to the engine, see how it sounds, of course, it's an inline 5, no mufflers, no exhaust, straight through. Sounds good, sounds like a baby V10, right? Um, so to the next stage of the car, of course, it's just sticking out, perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that probably at some point. Yeah, this is a Group B car, obviously. It's gotta, it's gotta be okay, pretty crazy. Or and quirky. I'm gonna make it this, this thing as quirky as can be. So it's gonna have, of course, um, the best, the best when it comes to basically everything. 345s, 315s, which is still, which is wide off, which is very wide, obviously. I think the limit to tire width though was like four, five hundred or something, which is crazy. I can never see any car being that wide. Magnesium wheels. Brakes, fainted discs, as we can. Of course, the wheels itself are a little small. I just like this, just for like the plastic looking cladding. We're gonna keep the plastic cladding on there probably of some sort. Uh, so we are going for a bit bigger brakes. 
and race pads. It's gonna go um, fully clad for now. Then it's just a two seater, basic, none. Uh, no power steering. I think we gotta save weight somehow. It's gonna have just like basic 70s safety. It's gonna have some safety, not really much. And then just a decent suspension system. We're just gonna do for off road and just a bit. Have a bit of ground clearance, not a ton, just a bit. Pretty wild already. And so we are 20, we are a bit heavy, 2,600 pounds at the minute. I actually go fiberglass. I'll save us some weight. 2,500, we lost about 75 pounds there. Then we will increase the top speed. What, 300? It'll do 300. Yeah, we don't, we don't really need more than that. I think we'll actually lower it down to 200. Maybe 250. 250 is probably already at the need. 250, lower it down to increase the spacing. We only got five speeds, so it's not a lot to play with here. First takes us all the way up until about 60 kilometers an hour. That's not terrible. Uh, we need to lose some more weight. If we just did no safety, that would save off some pounds. We, we need to stay in the 2400 range, right? We can go down to. I mean, no safety doesn't actually mean no safety, right? It still has some safety, obviously. We can actually. What's the cost right now? Half million. Yeah, that's not bad. When when you're also accounting for things like like research costs and stuff, it's you know it's gotta count for that. Uh, we could go just rear wheel drive. Lots of uh, lots of rally cars were just rear wheel drive. We could do that. But you know where where, where would they? Fun would that be? Not as fun, obviously. Uh, we have magnesium wheels. Very very wide. If we go none and then lower this down to zero here, we'll have no safety. I mean, we can do that. What's the exact way we got to say it? 2425. So I'm going to go to 2420 ish. Or 2400, sorry. 2410 or 2398. So just under 2400 pounds, which is a bit heavy for a rally car. Four seconds, zero to 60. That's not accurate, guys. A bit of a rear bias on the car. It has severe issues wheel spin. You know, I wouldn't doubt it. And lower the spacing down. Just better wheels, less wheel spin now. It's gonna be all-wheel drive and not four by four. Um, kind of realistic. Man, I, this thing's just gonna be so wicked looking. Ah, oh, it's so weird. I love it. So I think the car is, itself is is basically ready to go. A two point eight and a half liter, pretty much two almost two point nine. I guess you round down. Um, total cost is half a million, but you're including, like, I'm including the engineering time of the engine and stuff as well. All the engineering costs involved as well. Um, I'd say you know, maybe half a million. That sounds like a pretty reasonable number to me. This thing is going to be just wicked when it's done. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is have a time lapse of me designing the car. Then we're going to go and drive it in BMG.
Alright guys, we finally have the car complete. It is called the Motion 2.8 RR, so RR is in a rally racing, or 10 2.8 is of course the engine size, it's a 2.8 liter inline 5 turbo. Uh, so the car, you can see it is done, it is complete. You know, it's a little bit, I think a little plain looking, not enough stickers I think, but um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the, with the amount. So you got one side with all the decals and the other side, there's no numbers in the car. Uh, I couldn't get the numbers to look how I wanted them to look, so I just said, you know what, screw it. This is, might be the road legal version that someone has modified with some stickers to look cool. Anyways, um, so let's start off on the design part of the car. Front end, of course, we got uh, nice big rally fog lamps like every rally car has. Uh, the, you know, the stock sort of headlight, you know, headlights they got there, then that large grill. Side vents, a nice big opening down here, and then some turn signals. The Maven badge down here, so that's the brand, of course, is the Maven, it's the Maven Motion. Nice, huge splitter, of course, doesn't matter because the car is super, super raised right now with massive off-road tires and some painted rims as well. You can see the themes for the colors, so it's uh, white and red, of course, the Canadian colors. This is a proper Canadian car. And then the uh, plastic body cladding on the side because, you know, it's the 80s, guys. This, this car is great in every way. Uh, to go into the back here, so this is actually a wagon. It's actually a wagon. It's not. It's, it's a hatchback, I guess. It's a two-door hatchback wagon. It's longer than a hatchback. Um, definitely, definitely interesting. I, I don't think there's much hatchbacks. Uh, I mean, I guess the Lancia Delta Integra, like you know, the Lancia is it called the Delta? I think it's the Lancia Rally Car. I'll put it up on the picture on this picture on the screen. Uh, so zero to sixty four point seven, two hundred fifty kilometers an hour. It apparently has issues with wheel spin. That's that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm not sure if I'm satisfied with the the bottom part of the back end here, but it'll it'll have to do. So you got the little little you know dual exhaust outlet here. You have the reverse light there. The actual tail light setup with a turn signal built in there. Openings for the grills and stuff. A little bit you know. Then uh, of course the uh, the giant wing that we can see right adjustable wing actually guys. So the giant wing is right here. Uh, it, it, we definitely need it because this thing is pretty unwieldy to say the least. I've done some test runs with this car. Before I actually did tune the suspension a bit more and you know raise the height a bit more and stuff, but it, it, it's done. Um, terrible roll angle, of course. This car is from 1984. It is it is it is pretty much a you know a, a cheap econo box that has been souped up to a rally racer. Apparently, it can do a one kilometer in 999 seconds. Really, that seems like a very long amount of time. It can do it can do a quarter mile in in 12. So it can do a mile in what 48 seconds ish, right? And that, you know, a mile is more than one kilometer. It must be bugged. That's okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to take this car for a drive in the off-road tracks in Beam and G. And we'll see how it handles. I'll see you guys there in one second. All right, guys. We are in Beam and G Drive now. This is the Motion 2.8 RR. We are on, I think it's the West Coast. It's like the dirt track, uh, like rally-esque track, I guess. Um... It's not really meant for a Group B car, but this is, you know, one of the closest things I can get to a, a proper Group B track. Just tons of, you know, it's all dirt, all gravel, uh, quite a bit of jumps and bumps and stuff. It's a pretty short track. We're going to do a couple laps of that, and then we will go on to probably one or a few, one or two more tracks and see how it handles elsewhere. Because I, I designed another car, like another rally car a while back, and it's, I, I like it because it's so crazy. It's specifically designed for this track. We're good, we're good. Okay. Another turn here. Let's keep going. Now it's a two lap race, which is fine. We can make it. Ooh. There we go. We're good. So close. <laughs> oh, we're good. <laughs> we're fine. Oh my gosh. I was a car out total right now. It still actually handles okay. Seems like.
We're still good, we're good, we're good. Oh, that's not good, we're still fine. It's still Hanno's fine, actually, somehow. Uh, it pulls a little to the left, actually. See you guys in Group B. Even if the car was kind of damaged and whatnot, you still had to race. Uh, so four is four and a half seconds off my very best. Actually, my very best. No, let's actually try. Let's change the configuration. Let's change it to one lap. No, nope. but I had a records on this. Let's um. I just want to show you my other car that I made a while back. Let's so leave the car here. It's called the SJR Sharkfin GR EB Group B. Uh, so it is literally an actual Alma Groupie race car I made a while back. Uh, I can't tell you the specs because I just don't know. I think it's still an inline five, uh, turbo inline five or something like that maybe. Um, but it, it does make a bit more power. It is, it's wild looking. So we're we're gonna try that out and uh, see how this is around the track just just for comparison. Okay, so it definitely does not have an inline five engine. Uh, it is a inline six transverse all wheel drive. It looks like. Definitely runs a bit higher. I like the back end. The back end is kind of a little more plain, obviously, but it just just louvers. Just a wild looking vehicle. Just so weird looking. I love it. This, this one's all white. So we're gonna try this with this car. This is the car here. The exhaust comes with a one tail pipe. It's a terrible launch. It's definitely got a lot more power than the other vehicle. Oh my gosh! We lost the wing, that's fine. That's fine. Oh gosh, it's not fine. This one just handles one so well. So smooth. Ooh, close. We're good, we're good. We're good. I'm in a three. It's actually slower than the other vehicle. But then again, on the other vehicle, the second lap is always, always, is always going to be faster. Uh, so we are going to try the, you know, the, the derby range to see how it handles. I don't think they have much good tracks. I was thinking going to the automation desk track, gravel circuits, and changing this back to the Motion 2.8 RR. <laughs> So much turbo lag. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it handles actually fairly decently. It's just, of course, the brakes are the biggest lagging factor in this car, I think. Oh. We're good. We're good. I'm not going for record time. We're just going to see this thing drives on proper tracks and stuff, obviously.
109, first try. Not too bad at all. Our second best time ever, apparently. Uh, we're just gonna free roam, actually, though. And restart the car and just sort of take it for a drive. Go this way. Oof. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh gosh. <laughs> it is not very stable. It is wide, of course. The tires are just too big, though. You know? Alright, so that's what I think. A little bit of a drift there. That was much better. It does definitely pull to the right right now. Oh. Pull this way a little bit. Man, those brakes. Whoa, those brakes. We didn't actually engine brake there. And then the proper group be race this and still be driving. If I were to guess how good this thing would do in a drag strip, my answer would be probably awful. But uh, in reality, I, you know, I think it can get probably, uh, I'd guess an 11 maybe. That's my first guess, or 10. I'm gonna try that again because we were not launching that at all. Uh, that was an okay launch. Bad shift. Bad shift. Better shift. Yeah, 11.3. We can get it down probably a little more. We'll try that one more time. <laughs> 11 six. Yeah, 11 seconds is what it's doing. We'll say 11 seconds. Let's go for your own. It does handle quite well. Probably because it's so light, too. Okay, now I'm braking. Don't break and turn. Oh, wow, that's scary. Yeah, the brakes are not actually meant for... Uh, pavement roads at all. Does the turbo sound sound great? Ooh, the handling overall is actually, you know, a little bit not great. Uh, some for sure understeer. But this is a front wheel drive architecture, right? I think. Wow, it sounds actually kind of cool from uh, from afar. It's fine. Ah, the back end just just squats down so hard. Oh, we're maxed at 250. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nope. We're good. No. Um. So, uh, you know, that's that seems like it's all for the car. The Motion 2.8 RR Rally Car. Uh, you, you see, like, those red stripes there. I don't think I mentioned that before. I got some red stripes down the side. You know, red and white, of course, again, is the theme. Um. So, uh, what is coming next? I have a couple other videos coming next, actually. I think I have one viewer suggestion, um, on the list. I have a, a pretty, another pretty cool idea, too, that I'm going to be doing myself as well. Uh, another cool thing is I'm actually going to be doing a collab with the YouTuber, Canadian Steel. Um, he also does automation content. So, uh, the next video will be of that. So, I'll be designing a 70s muscle car. I've designed a 60s muscle car. We'll design a 70s. So, what my, you know, that's at least my idea of the, uh, the peak of Muscle Car Arrows is probably 1969, 1970. Uh, then after that, they all sort of died off, but it'll be a big old V8, uh, you know, performance vehicle, obviously, a muscle car. That's also going to try to handle a bit better than the last one, because the last one was terrible. It was terrifying. Um, so we're going to do that. Maybe do something about, maybe not, who knows. But leave an idea for another car down below in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas. Yours could be next. Um... 
or just you know, leave a like or whatever you guys want. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time.